another scary looking question with a pretty nice answer. Uh, they've got ax equals b represents a linear system of equations in three-dimensional space, and the determinant of a doesn't equal zero, then the solution, is it just a point, is it a line, is it this? And so they're looking at a linear system of equations in three-dimensional space. So you've dealt with this, and it looks like that, right? This is um, linear system of equations with, in three-dimensional space, x, y, and z. And you can write this linear system of equations that you're used to looking at as a matrix equation with the coefficient matrix A times the variable matrix uh, here, B, X, and then this will equal kind of your answer matrix there. And you can do your little multiplication and see that this matrix equation translates to those three um, equations there. And you're used to solving this. And when you solve the system of three equations and three unknowns, what's your answer? You get something for x, right? x equals something, y equals something, z equals something, right? x equals something, y equals something, z equals something. And what is that? It's just a point, right? That's a point in three-dimensional space, just bam. And that's what they're looking for. Uh, we don't do a lot of it in uh, high school algebra, but what these represent are planes. These are, this is a plane in three-dimensional space, uh, and these three planes are intersecting at a point. Now, they have to tell us, though, because usually we get a point as our answer, but sometimes you get those funky answers, those no solution answers, and those uh, infinite number solution answers, and those happen when the determinant, if the determinant equals zero, is when you're getting those funky answers. So, um, your theorem is uh, if the determinant uh, equals zero, there is a unique solution, and that solution is just represented by that one point. And if the determinant of a uh, doesn't equal zero, that's when you get your funky cases where, like we were saying, uh, either two of these planes are parallel, and so they all can't intersect, or maybe two of those planes are the same, so they intersect in an infinite number of points, maybe they intersect in a, in a line, and that's what happens. So what I thought I might do, so we already have the answer, our answer's at a point, blah, but what I felt this kind of led to is uh, why we talk about determinants at all. Like, there's a bunch of reasons, but, and it was a little bit easier for me to see in two dimensions. So. There we go. So what if you had um, two equations and two unknowns here, just two-dimensional space, just two lines where they intersect. And you go about solving these lines, and you're like, um, wait a second, these are the exact same line, right? This is just a, this one here is just twice that one. If you ended up graphing them, they'd be the same. And if you look at it, um, oh, so, and then if you were to solve it out, so if you were to multiply, say, this one by negative 2, you'd get a negative 2x minus 4x or y equals negative 6. And then you add them up, and you get 0 equals 0, and you get that infinite number of answers. So let's, let's uh, examine the determinant of this guy. This is 1, 2, 2, 4. And so it's 1 times 4 is 4, and then minus 2 times 2 is 4, so 4 minus 4 is 0, and so there's your 0 determinant, which was the was a tell that this guy here was going to have um, a funky answer. So this was an all real numbers answer. This one here is almost the same case, except here I put the 7, so it's not quite double. Um, so this one here is your no solution answer. It has the same determinants as that one, your 0 determinant. So when you're finding that it's determinant, you end up doing that little rigmarole that you do to find the determinant. You end up multiplying this top one, what am I trying to say? Trying to, uh, eliminate the x's. When you try to do that, you end up doing that little thing where you multiply this guy by 4 and 
track that guy and oh shoot, I can talk. But play with it. Play with it. You'll like it. Um, but the answer to this one and the basic thing that you need to know is that uh, if the determinant of A is, is zero, there is a nice unique solution, and that unique solution is at a point. And if it doesn't equal zero, infinite number of solutions, or um, which would be like a plane in three-dimensional space, or a line in two-dimensional space, or no solution answers. Okay, I'm done. You play.